Okay, 14 folks jump in already. Wow, good morning, good morning, good morning to one and all. Amen. See, folks have been waiting for us to come online. Yes, <laughs> good, morning. Good, morning good morning, good morning to, morning to everyone. Good well, morning. it is a good Sunday morning, the first day of the week, and a good thing to do is to give God praise at all times. The first day of the week, the first fruit, to give him glory. I'm so glad that you're able to join us. Yes, I see my brother, Mark McDowell, is on, and he was on very early. <laughs> um, so thank you all for joining us as we get into our online worship. This is actually the second to last one. We have one more, and then we will be back in the church. So I encourage you to share this link do a watch party or just <clears throat> copy the, the address and send it to somebody and in, invite them to join us this morning as we give God praise. Somehow I might scream, I'm not seeing the, 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 the writing, it's kind of mm -hmm. dull this morning and maybe I, I needed to increase the screen no light. lighting but it's too late for that now. <laughs> So I just have to flow. I'm not able to read the names. It's kind of low. You can see the line. I'll be looking across here. I don't want to be looking there. Okay. I want to look at the screen. <laughs> Put the <laughs> mm -hmm. So thank you all so much for joining us. Seven okay. Bands. We have just about a minute again, and then Let's we will be it. calling Brother Timothy to open us in prayer. And we would just give God praise, give him glory, and magnify him in the beauty of holiness for who he is, what he has done for us, what he is doing, and what he will do because we serve a God who is worthy of praise, who is worthy of glory, who is worthy of honor. Amen. Sorry, I can't see the names this morning to call them out. Yeah, Patricia Hinkson. Pat Patricia Hinkson. Mm -hmm. You Athol call them Reed. out. You call them out and welcome them as you see in there. Ethel <laughs> Reed, Carla, and Roderick Foster. The Fosters, okay. <laughs> Ruth M Morrison. Uh, Isaiah Ruth Morrison, Huggins. Isaiah Huggins. Kenneth Sears. Hey, okay, they're coming in. They're Carson coming in. Doyle. Amen. Yeah. Ruth Morrison, I said that one. Um, Didi. Didi. Dixon. <laughs> Marissa Williams Phillips. Lisa George, Sister Judy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, to volume. To what? To the turn of the volume. Who volume? Who said that? Turn up my volume. Well, I'm not using anything. I'm not using. We are not using a microphone. We are oh, not using talking, so. anything that needs to to increase volume. You just need to probably talk a little louder, yeah. because this is home worship. <laughs> um, so we just do it all natural acoustics. Michelle Alexander. No amplification. Okay, let's see if we can get Timothy on the line to open us. Call Timothy. Just to confirm, you'd like to call Timothy Akajinu? Yes. Calling Timothy Akajinu. Pastor, good morning. Hey, good morning, Timothy. How are you doing this morning? Uh, I'm good, sir. Thank God. <laughs> All right, we have you live and you uh, will be opening us in prayer today, so please go right ahead and do that. Thank you, Pastor. Good morning, everyone. Father, in the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, we come before your throne of grace today, Lord. You said we should come before you. We should approach you with boldness so that we can obtain mercy. So, Lord, we ask this morning, Lord, that as we come to you, that we may obtain 
mercy and grace, not just to serve you, but to face all that will come ahead of us in the future, Lord. Father God, we thank you for waking us up this morning. We thank you for your grace and for your mercy. The Bible said your mercy is renewed every morning. So we pray, Lord, that if there is any sin that is hidden in us, Lord, we ask for your mercy and forgiveness this morning in the name of Jesus. I pray that the channel of heaven will open up, that as the praise begins and the worship begins, that heaven will open, Lord, that prayers will be answered this morning in the name of Jesus. Yes. I pray that those that are discouraged, those that are brokenhearted, that you will come in, Father God, and just hold them in the name of Jesus and encourage and strengthen their hearts in the name of Jesus. Father, we just want to say thank you, Lord. And Father God, as Pastor continues this with the wife, I pray that you strengthen them, that your spirit will guide them through this day in the name of Jesus. Father, each one of us listening at this time and those that would desire to listen but may not have the medium to use. But I pray, Lord, that every desire of their heart shall be met in the name of Jesus. I pray that you will heal our body, you will heal our mind, you will heal our spirit. I pray, Father, that no weapon fashioned against each and every one of us shall always prosper. Father, we give you the glory and we give you the honor. We commit the leadership of Calvary into your loving hands, even as we approach opening up, Father God. I pray for your guidance. I pray for your wisdom. I pray for you to lead us in the name of Jesus. Thank you for a day like this, Father. Take all the glory in Jesus' mighty, mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank, Thank you so you. much, Timothy. Amen. Say hello to Sharon and the girls for us. God bless you. I will. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Bye-bye. Amen. Well, folks, it's worship. Come on, get, get, get yourself ready. Move the chairs. Uh, get yourself some space, and let's just begin to worship the Lord. Feel free to lift your hands. Feel free to Hallelujah. clap. Feel free to sing along. Just worship the Lord right praise where you God. are. Sister Magda will lead us into worship. Yes, praise the name of the Lord. God is great, and his presence is with us. He's always with us. Hallelujah. Let's just acknowledge his presence this morning.
sure you can sense the presence of the Lord right where you are. And he's there to minister to you. If you need healing, you can receive healing in the presence of the Lord right now. Right now, receive. There is a victory in your praise. Come on and give him glory. Give him honor. Just magnify him for who he is. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. We thank God for his omnipresence. We thank God that he's able to be with us wherever we are. Whatever we are doing, we are a guarantee of the presence of the Lord. It might be a conscious presence, or it might be his indwelling presence. Hallelujah. I'm so glad for his omnipresence. Glory to God. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Meus amigos no Brasil, obrigado por estar conosco, Pastor Luzia, Pastor Sednea, eu vi que vocês, estou vejando vocês agora online, glória a Deus. Eu mando um grande abraço para todos os irmãos aí no Brasil. Friends, I'm so glad you're able to tune in and be part of our online worship. Um, we encourage you to share this video even after the live broadcast it will be there you can still share it with those who do not have or, or may not have a Facebook account you can still share it via YouTube it is on CPC Woodruff Online Worship CPC Woodruff Online Worship if you share that um, they'll be able to see it even after the live broadcast most people who do not have a Facebook account cannot view it live, but you can do that and share it with them after. Amen. Amen. I want to encourage you to get your Bibles as we get into the Word. We're looking at a very familiar portion of Scripture taken from Galatians chapter 2 and verse 20. Galatians chapter 2 and verse 20. So get your Bibles and let's read it. Some of you don't even need to turn to it. You can just recite it by heart. <clears throat> Very familiar Jesus, portion of scripture. Paul speaking here, he said, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith 
of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Amen. And there's a nice little song we used to do with that. <laughs> yeah. I am crucified with Christ, you. nevertheless I live. Yeah. Amen. We probably do that song sometime. Maybe do it in church. No. <laughs> but no, we did it already. We did it here? Amen. No, 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 not here. But it's a, a very familiar portion oh, of scripture, as I said. And Paul was stating something here that I think is very important for all of us to understand. With all that is happening in the world today, it seems like it is getting harder and harder to be all that we can be for Christ. In this passage, Paul tells us how we can be everything God wants us to be. This verse teaches us that every believer can live for Jesus Christ every day of their life. Amen. Mm -hmm. Paul is saying you can do it. And this is what I want to share with you this morning. The truth taught here in this verse tells us how we can live for Christ. And we can live for Christ firstly by realizing our position in Christ. How many know that you are positioned in Christ? Amen. Amen. We must realize our first, our past position. And the phrase Paul started, he said, I am crucified. It is the, in the perfect tense. This refers to a once for all action that never needs to be repeated. In other words, what Paul is saying is this, I am crucified with Jesus or when Jesus was crucified and that crucif crucifixion was a one time for all time experience. I was crucified and I stand crucified. Mm -hmm. Amen. What does that mean for us? Well, if you are saved, then when Jesus died on his cross, you died with him, according to Romans 6, 4 and 6, also Colossians 2, 11 to 14. It was here that the wages of sin was forever paid in full, Romans 6, 23. And that is why the believer never needs to fear death. Mm -hmm. We have already experienced death with Jesus, and it retains no power over us. You see, death is swallowed up in victory. Mm -hmm. Oh, death, where is thy sting? Oh, grave, where is thy victory? Mm -hmm. Quoting from Paul, what Paul said in 1 Corinthians 15 and 55. So we must realize our past position. We, are, we were crucified with Christ. Mm -hmm. We must also realize our present position. Not only does Paul tell us that the believer is dead because he has been crucified with Christ, but that the believer is also alive. Mm -hmm. The phrase, mm -hmm. I live, mm -hmm. is in the present tense now. Yes, we died with Jesus, but faith in him has raised us up from the dead, mm -hmm. or of the, from the death of sin, and has made us eternally alive. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. You see, the hour is coming when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God and live. According to John 5 and 25, he will call you by name. It doesn't matter how you die, when you die, or what they did with your body after you die. Jesus will call you one day, and the, and the corruption will put on in corruption. Amen. If you die before that, then you would be called, you will be risen first. And then you'll be changed. And in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, he will call us and we will never see death. It seems impossible that one may be dead and live at the same time. Yet that is how life is for a believer. We are dead to sin, but alive in Jesus. Not just Amen. alive until our bodies cease to live here on earth, but alive forever. Mm -hmm. Just as we share his death, we also share his life. Eternal life does not begin when you get to heaven or after you die. Eternal life begins the instant you receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, according to John chapter 10 and verse 10 yeah. and 28. We have abundant life. He said, I came that you may have abundant life. Mm -hmm. Saints, understand, we are seated oh, in yeah. heavenly yeah. places in Christ Jesus, Jesus according to yeah. Ephesians 2 and 6. That's our present position. We must understand that. We must understand our position, but we must also realize or that we, we are relying and depending on the power of Christ. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, our position is, we must remember that, but also remember it is in by the power of Christ. Hallelujah. Paul is quick to credit his ability to live the Christian life to the Lord Jesus Christ. He knows what we need to know. The thing is all about Christ and not about us. I want to say that again. It's about Christ. Yeah. It's about him. Yeah. It's not about us. It's Amen. not, it, it, is, it is for us but it's by him. He mm -hmm. said, yet not I. Saints, it's not a case of me, myself, and I. It's not about me, myself, and I. It's about Amen. Christ. Amen. Amen. It's about uh, the power of his resurrection. He said, I'm crucified with Christ, yet nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ lives. Christ mm -hmm. lives. So we mm -hmm. must understand it is by the resurrection oh, power Jesus. of Christ. That statement reminds us that not only did Jesus die on the cross for our sins, but he rose from the dead three days later. He died in humility. Philippians chapter 2 and verse 8 tells us that he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, mm -hmm. even death on the cross. Mm -hmm. And Romans chapter 6, verse 9 and 10 tells us Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Mm -hmm. Amen. Death no longer has dominion over him. He arose in power and great glory. Saints, just as Jesus rose from the grave, different than when he was buried, everyone who comes to him by faith is also altered forever. Why? Because the power of his resurrection life works itself out in the believer's life and makes them different than when they first met him. Glory to God. Amen. First Peter 1 and 3 says, For by his abundant mercy had begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection Amen. of Jesus Christ from the dead. Amen. The resurrected Christ now dispenses his life to everyone who comes to him by faith. Mm -hmm. When a person is saved, death ceases to work in them. They are no longer sinners. Hallelujah. Life now works itself out within them. They are now children of God. Yes. First, um, uh, the gospel of John chapter 1 and verse 12 tells us, But as many as receive him, to them give the power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. I am not alive, but he is alive mm -hmm. within me, mm -hmm. making me his child. Mm -hmm. Glory to Amen. God. Paul said in Galatians chapter 3 and verse 26, For ye are not all, ye are, ye are all children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. Amen. Understand it's by the resurrection power of Christ within you. Resurrection mm -hmm. power that mm -hmm. enables us. Also, we must realize it is about the res resident power of Christ. He said, I'm crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ that lives in me. Christ that lives in me. Jesus doesn't just come on the, the sinner and save him and change him forever, but he also moves into that person's heart, giving them power with him to live like him. Yeah. Amen. The, the, and this was the promise so while he was still on the earth in John chapter 14, verse 16 to 18. He said, And I will pray the Father that he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever, even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it sees him not, neither knows him, but you know him for he dwells with you and That's shall be in Lord. you. Glory to God. It is the indwelling presence and power of the Holy Spirit that enables us. He promised to give the believers his spirit to dwell within them. The indwelling Holy Spirit is present to lead us. John 16, 13. His presence, his Holy Spirit is present to teach us. John 14, 26. His Holy Spirit is present to empower us, Acts mm -hmm. 1 and 8. His Holy Spirit is present to correct us, John 16, 7 to 11. His Holy Spirit is Hallelujah. present to comfort us, John oh, 16 God. or 14, John 14, 16 to 18. And as we yield more I of our lives that. to him, oh, we he, he produces more of himself Thank through you. us. Thank the you. fact that Jesus is within us mm -hmm. is the only thing that makes the, the Christian life possible and productive for his glory. Mm. It's not about yeah. you. It's not about your power. Yeah. It's not about your strength. It's not about your ability. It's yeah. not about your intellect. It's about oh. Christ working in you. Amen. Amen. And that's only how we can do it. 
we can live this life for Christ by realizing our position, by realizing the power of Christ. And thirdly, Hallelujah. we can live this Hallelujah. life for Christ by resting in the provisions of Christ. Hallelujah. The there is word. the supply of faith for the believer. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. The life I now live in the flesh, Paul said, I live by the faith of the Son of God. Amen. Paul makes the strong statement that the faith given to us by Jesus is what makes living for Christ possible. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God we do not have to supply our own faith for this journey. Amen. Our Savior provides us the faith we need yeah. to live for Him. Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 8 to 9 tells us that we are saved by faith. Mm -hmm. And where did the faith come from? Look, verse 8 says that. Verse 8 says, it is the gift of God. Amen. 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 God gives you the faith you need to be saved in the beginning. Amen. Romans 12 and 3 says, He has given every man the measure of faith. When we are saved, saints, the Holy Spirit, who is the source of faith, comes in within our hearts. And it's by faith. And as we journey through life towards heaven, He dispenses faith proportioned to that what we face. You see, faith is like a muscle. When you take it to the gym of life, it can do little in the beginning. But as it exercises the little things day by day, it grows considerably mm -hmm. until it's mm -hmm. able to accomplish great things through Christ Jesus. Exercise your faith. Amen. So you may ask, okay, how, how does one go about excite, ex exercising their faith? Well, Romans 10 and 17 tells us, so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. As we hear the word of God, as we take God at his word by mm -hmm. faith, our faith grows stronger and stronger. Mm -hmm. but, but in reality, it's not our faith per se, it's more of Hallelujah. his faith growing stronger. It's his faith you, within God. us that increase as we grow. Mm -hmm. So he supplies the faith. Amen. And as we rest in the provision of Christ, there is the supply of faith, and also there is the sacrifice of his flesh. Mm -hmm. I'm crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ lives in me. And the life I now live, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Mm -hmm. The sacrifice of his flesh. Everything I've talked about so far is only possible because Jesus went to the cross yeah. and bore our sins mm -hmm. in his own body. Because he loves us. Romans 5, 8 tells us that God shows his love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, Jesus died for us. Mm -hmm. He took our place on the cross. Yeah. There he absorbed the wrath of God for Thank those you. who will receive him. Jesus. And he alone makes the Christian life possible thank god for that sacrifice thank god he didn't have to do it but he did it because he loves us and he loved us even while we were his enemies mm -hmm. oh glory to god thank god there are so many persons who are trying to live the christian life without first coming to faith in christ friends you can never live for christ without first meeting the christ he is the amen, only one amen. who can make dead man alive. Mm -hmm. He is the one, only one who can break sins, bondage, mm -hmm. and set man free. Amen. He is the only one who can take a life wreck, wrecked, ruined, and doomed by sin and yes. change everything by the power of his saving grace. Amen. The life in Christ is not what many think it is, however. Oh, you see, God. too many believe it's about the church. It's about the baptismal pool. It's about the preacher. It's about turning over new leaves. It's about stopping some things and starting other things. Listen, the life in Christ has nothing to do with that at all. We put so much emphasis and focus and energy and strength in the building, the church building. Uh, and we, we rush to see how many people we could get baptized. And, and, and we, we, we give the um, run around looking for or charismatic preachers or, or eloquent speakers. And we have refers of the, 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 the year. We, 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 we look, wait for the clock to strike and then we make resolution. We would stop doing this and we would start doing this thing. You know, it, it's not about that. As a matter of fact, it is far simpler. 
It is summed up in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 3 and 4. Jesus died for our sins, was buried, and on the third day rose again, mm -hmm. according to the scriptures. Mm -hmm. That's it. Jesus died for our sins. He was buried and on the third day rose again according to the scriptures. It was spelled out in Romans chapter 10 and verse 9. That if we confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, we shall be saved. Mm -hmm. That's it. Amen. Confess Amen. with your mouth. Believe with your heart that God raised him from the dead. You shall be saved. Hmm. That's it. It was bought and it was paid for at the cross. It was ratified in the resurrection. And all that is left for us to do is to receive it by faith. Hallelujah. Say, friends, let me ask you, have you done that? Have you confessed with your mouth? Have you believed with your heart that God raised him from the dead? If you have done that, then you're saved. But if you haven't done that, then you still need to do that. Because until you do that, you can never live the life for Christ. But as soon as you do receive Jesus, you have received everything that is necessary for you to live for him. Maybe you are listening to me this morning or wherever you are, whenever you're listening to this. And you are saying and thinking, well, I really would like to become more like Jesus. I really would like for him to live his life through me. Mm. But I can't do that. It's too difficult. It's too much for me. Mm. I don't have what it takes. You might be thinking that, that right now. And let me tell you something. You are right to think that. Because it's not about you. Mm. It's not about what you can do and what you cannot do. Mm. It's about Christ that lives in you. Amen. Yes, amen. That's why we need him. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm inviting you to come to Jesus this morning. That's why I'm, I'm encouraging you to confess to him that you need him. Tell him you realize that you have been making it all about you and not him. And, let, and invite him into your heart. Yeah. I invite you to turn it over to the Lord today. Turn it over to Jesus. You see, the great thing about living for Christ is that you don't have to do it alone. Amen. Wherever you may be today, friends, the Lord will help you through the power of the Holy Ghost to get where you need to be. And if you will come to him, he will meet you where you are and he will take you where he wants you to be. You can do it. And he will see to it that you do it. He loves you and he gives himself for you that you will live for him by his grace. Amen. I don't know where you are. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're going through. But what I do know is that God loves you unconditionally. There isn't Thank anything you, that you have done that could cause God to stop loving you. There is not anything that you are doing that can cause God to stop loving you. There isn't anything that you will do that will cause God to stop loving you. He loves you unconditionally, eternally. Amen. That's the God we serve. I'm so glad to know this God. I'm so glad to know his love for me. And when I think of it, there's a little song that said, um, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah. Thank God for saving me. When you come to that knowledge, um, that saving knowledge of Jesus Christ, you too will be singing. You too will be rejoicing. Uh, look at how many thumbs up and how many hearts, uh, how many emojis are going up indicating that they have known of this love they, they have tasted and they have seen that the Lord is good and, uh, and encouraging you who do not know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior come to him today let uh, that resurrection power begin to work in you and hallelujah. through you and make you into God, what God wants you to be amen you will no longer be controlled and dominated by sin but you'll have the power to resist the devil and he yeah. will flee from you. The things that you used to do, you will do them no more. Amen. The things you used to say, you would say them no more. The places you used to go, you would go there no more. Because of the change, the transformation that has taken place in your life. Because of the saving power of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I want to pray with you. As I said, this is our second to last broadcast from home. 
We have one more, which is next Sunday. And then the first Sunday in August, we will be broadcasting from the church. And that would be at Caton. That will be Calvary Cathedral of Praise. So this is an, uh, one of the last opportunity you might get to do it this way. You might not be able to come to the building, but certainly God is with you right where you are. Mm -hmm. And you can receive him. I want to pray with you. Please bow your heads right where you are. And if you have never accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, as I said, all you have to do is confess with your mouth, believe with your heart that Jesus Christ raised him from the dead, and you shall be saved. Let me pray with you. Father, we bow our hearts to you right now. We are so grateful that you have gone to great lengths to bring salvation to man. You saw our need, O oh God, you also saw our fault, but you look beyond those faults and you minister to our need. We needed a savior and we could not save ourselves. And you give your only begotten son to die for us. And Father, I pray right now those who are listening and if they have never accepted Jesus Christ as, your, as their Lord and Savior, God, they would bow their hearts right now and say and confess Jesus as their Lord. And believe in your heart that you raise him from the dead. And God, they will be saved in the name of Jesus. I pray, God, for those who are living and, and have accepted you, but are, are trying to live this Christian life and, and this Christian walk on their own strength, on their own merit, on their own ability and intellect. I pray, God, that we would come to recognize, all of us would realize it's not about us, but it's about you. What you did is for us so that you will be glorified and you choose to work in us and through us, that we would allow you to work, oh God. We will turn it over to you, surrender our will, our desires, our likes and dislikes and, and let you work in us for it is you who work in us both to will and to do of your good pleasure. So Father in the name of Jesus, even as we are getting ready to come back together in the building that we would recognize it's not about us and those isms, schisms and petty quarrel that we argue about because I don't like this and I don't like that and I find this and we make it about us and what we want Father. I pray that that will be done away with and we would recognize it is the power of the Holy Ghost working in us and through us, Father. Let God be God and every man a liar. Let God be true and every man a liar. Let your will be done in our lives. Father, this time we have gone through uh, uh, this pandemic or going through this pandemic that has affected the lives of so many. Some have lost jobs and some are, are, are displaced. I pray in the name of Jesus that the church would rise up and be the church and be able to minister to those needs, though God among us. God, we would come together even as the early church did and we would make sure that those who are in need will be cared for. Father, in Jesus' name I pray that your people will be willing to sometimes may have to do sacrificial things so that uh, our, our brother would be, the need will be met. We may have, oh God, to give out, even out of our needs, we may have to give so that everybody would have and not be in lack. For the early church demonstrated that, and I pray that we would get back to that, Father. In Jesus' name, we will not just come to the, the, the church and begin to clap hands and sing and dance when there are so many needs happening among us. Help us to be the church. Indeed, I pray, Father, Holy Spirit, you walk through us. Holy Spirit, you have your way. We pray, O oh God, as we turn it over to you. In yeah. Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 I pray that you pray that prayer with me and you meant it in your heart. Thank Would you indicate by sending some thumbs up, some hearts and some emojis and seal it saying, Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Well, um, I'm going to, we want to sing, um, I'm trading my sorrow. Before I do that, before we do that, yes, I'm seeing those emojis going up. Keep sending them, keep sending them, keep sending those thumbs up. Um, I've been trying to call since this pandemic all who I could call, those who numbers that I would had, have on my contact list. But there are some that I did not have, and there are so many I'm really wondering what's happening. Yesterday, we received the sad news that a sister Harris went to be with the Lord. 
well, sad news for us because we will definitely miss Sister Harris. Yeah. Um, but she was promoted to glory yesterday morning, and we want to remember her family and friends and loved ones in prayer. Um, that's the furthest we have. I don't have any more news as to what's happening and when it would happen, but we would certainly try to keep you updated on that. But um, Sister Harris has gone on to be with the Lord. And she was one of the persons that I was trying to get onto so desperately. I eventually got someone who was able to tell me, well, she's, she was act actually just passing in front of the church at that time. And they told me, yeah, she's right in front of the church and she's passing and she's, she's all right. If you know Sister Harris, she's <clears throat> always a busy, walking fast, jolly woman of God. And I wasn't able to talk with her. That hurt me. So I'm asking you, if you have not heard from me, it's because I did not have your number. I'm asking, can you give me a call? Can you drop me a text? We want to know how you're doing, how you're coping with this pandemic and, and what the Lord is doing in your life. If you have not heard from me, it's simply because I do not have a contact for you. There are some contacts I was able to get from other people, but there are some of you I don't have your contact. I would really like to hear from you. We want to know how you're doing. Drop me a text or call me. I'm sure you know somebody who has my number because most people should have my number, most of them, the members. So give me a call and, and let me know how you're doing. We really would love to hear from you. Maybe you have a testimony you want to share. <clears throat> Maybe you have a need and you want us to help you with in prayer or how otherwise. Call me, okay? God bless you. Let's see if we can do this song. I'm trading my sorrows. I'm trading my sickness, <laughs> and the kid was in, and then we're going to call um, Sister Marilyn Huggins to dismiss us in prayer. Oh, I better call her first because her time is already gone. All right, let me call her first, and then we would get into that, that sound. Call Marilyn Huggins. Calling Marilyn Huggins. Good morning, Sister Huggins. You need to turn the volume off on your device that you're listening to me on. If you're listening to me, turn that on. Hello? Right. I'm hearing you now. You need to listen to me on the phone, not on the, the, the broadcast. Okay, I'm on the phone. Good All right. Morning. You are live, and we will ask you to close off, us off in prayer this morning, please. Good morning, saints. Amen. Good morning, Pastor McDowell. Mm -hmm. I want to thank God for your word this morning. And we are going to go in prayer. Father, we thank you for your word this morning. We thank you for speaking to us through our dear Pastor, oh God. Father, we thank you for all who are on the broadcast this morning. All of our saints, oh God, and those who have stepped in, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for those who have accepted Christ today, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. And we pray, O oh God, that they will be continuing in you, O oh God. Lord, we thank you that you are Christ and that you are the powerful one, O oh God. You are a comforter, O oh God. We thank you, O oh God, that you are alive today. Father, we thank you for your sending your comforter to us, that we can praise you. We thank you, God, for strengthening us. Lord, we praise you for your comfort in this time of this COVID and this pandemic, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, continue to cover us with your precious blood, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, we need you more than ever, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, oh God, we thank you for your gift that you have bestowed upon our lives. Mm -hmm. Give us the faith, O oh God, to mm -hmm. understand you and mm -hmm. to go on in your, mm -hmm. your life, in this life, O oh mm -hmm. God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, O oh God, for keeping us, yes. for covering us, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. And we ask your blessing upon the Harris family, oh God, this morning, oh God, comfort them as they do what they have to do, oh God, for this funeral, oh God. Lord, give them the finances, give them everything 
that they need, oh God. So, so supply them, oh God, in the yes. name of Jesus. Mm. Lord, as we are dismissed from your from your this presence, oh God, not mm. from yours, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Mm. Keep us, Lord, for another week, oh God, and cover us with your precious blood. We ask all this in your name. We will not fail to thank you, to praise you, because you are such a wonderful God. You have wrapped your arms around us, oh God. You have given us so much, Lord, love. And we thank you for dying on the cross for us. We thank you, oh God, for keeping us, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We will not fail to praise you and honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. 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 God bless you, Sister Huggins. Say hi to Soraya and Isaiah and your brother Curtis for me. And we will talk again soon. God bless you. Well, folks, Thank you. don't go away. Minister Roslyn Doyle will be coming on right after, just about 15 minutes or so from now, quarter past 10, 10, 15. She will be coming and bringing a word. We have the worship team and they all will be coming from the church. Um, that recording is set and you would see it right after. You can stay right here on this face. You need to close this when we are through and then you would see the Calvary Cathedral of Praise is live or you can go direct to Calvary Cathedral of Praise on Facebook or also Calvary Cathedral of Praise YouTube and I'm sure Sister Rosalind has a word to bless you. The worship team will lead you into worship and uh, don't miss it, okay? I remember to for the next next Sunday, try to share this link as much as you can. Let's see if you can get more views. The last view to be the most views we will ever have in this home line that we have ever had. So please, share it, talk about it, tell somebody to Sunday morning, 9 a.m. We will be live again. And then the following Sunday, which is the first Sunday in August, we will be at Calvary Cathedral of Praise. That's 45 8 East 8th Street in Brooklyn and it will be 9 a.m. The service will start at 9 a.m. on Sunday the 2nd of August. Make every arrangement and to be there. The, we are putting things in place to follow all the guidelines. There are protocols and we will be opening up the balcony and the entire sanctuary so that you can spread out. We have sufficient room for you to maintain and practice the social distancing. So don't worry about that. Um, you can come and feel free to worship with us in safety. Uh, everything will be put in place. Amen. God bless you. Let's go and just hand it over to Jesus now. Give trade in your sorrows. Come on.
together, give him praise. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Amen. Oh, glory. Ooh, la, 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 la. Praise the Lord. Well, just in about a few minutes to two or three minutes or so, uh, Calvary Cathedral of Praise will be coming on. Stick around and hear. I know you have a powerful word to hear from Minister Rosalind Doyle. God bless you all so much. Thank you for tuning in and spending this time with us. Meus amigos no Brasil, obrigado por estar conosco mais uma vez. Hoje seria o primeiro, primeiro culto de online em casa. Um, próximo domingo vai ter em si e depois primeiro domingo de agosto vai ser na igreja. Vai ter culto sim, mas na igreja, no prédio. <risos> ok? Então, se você quer estar conosco, fica à vontade. Começa mesmo horas, nove horas de manhã. Estaremos louvando, glorificando o nome do Senhor Jesus. Então, seja bem-vindo estar conosco. Glória a Deus. God bless you. God bless you, saints. See you next Sunday, or you see us next Sunday, and then we'll see you the following Sunday. God bless you. <laughs>